going to put me in the stream. Hey, kia ora. Hello, I'm Brahms here coming to you live from Sun City in Arizona. I am your roving genealogist, roaming genealogist. Still working on that. <laughs> but um, I have to tell you, it's been, it's welcome to Fun Friday. How was your Fun Friday? What did you get up to today? Um, I got up to a lot of stuff. You know, I'm never too, never too busy for mischief. Not that I got up to any mischief today, but it's all good stuff. I had a very fun day today. Um, got given a lot of things to think about. And um, so, yeah, so, <laughs> sorry, my brain is going like crazy after a conversation I had today. Um, but first of all, I want to know what ideas did you come up that with that you can do this weekend? We're talking this morning about fun. We talked about some different fun activities. And so I want to know, what did you come up with? What were some of the ideas you came up with? Just drop them in the comments to let us know. Um, I've got the comments open so I can see them as they come in. Um, I'm ready to go out to take a walk because somebody wanted to go for a walk. And I was sort of like, yeah, no, I want to take a nice long walk this evening. So let's get the live out of the way and then we can go for a nice long walk. Um, she doesn't know it yet. <laughs> but she's ready to go. She just needs her leash on. I just need to put my glasses on and I'm ready to walk out the door. Um, so, sorry. Um, so what fun things did you come up with to do this weekend that ties in with maybe some of the things you used to find favorites when you were growing up? Did you have any favorite activities when you were growing up that you could now go and um, and incorporate into your family activities as well? Um, so my day started off cool because Fridays are me time. Friday mornings are me time. Um, I was getting overwhelmed, overworked, and I thought I need to take half a day that's just for me, not counting weekends. I need to take half a day that's just for me because I was starting to feel a lot of overwhelm, a lot of pressure and everything else. So I'm taking Friday mornings just for me. And in my Friday morning this morning, I had a really, really awesome call with my um, dear friend, business and business mentor um and i have to tell you mentors are the best uh, we had a great conversation we talked about a lot of stuff and i was furiously taking notes um but the thing that i liked about it the most is it, is it made me aware of the fact that i don't utilize my mentor enough i'm like you know he's always there with ideas and stuff and i sit and i struggle and i'm like thinking around ideas and i'm like Okay, I used to go and sit down in front of Brad and go, I've had an idea. And he would look at me and go, oh, crap. <laughs> and, but, well, that's what he would think. And you could see it, you could see the expression on his face. But then um, he would turn around and say, do I need to respond or do you just need to vent it out? And so he had, so he knew which ears to listen with. Um, and sometimes I'd say, well, I'm not really sure if I want feedback or not, which meant that he had to pay attention just in case. <laughs> If, it, if I wanted to vent, he knew he didn't have to respond, so he kind of just half listened. But if I said, well, I'm not really sure if I want feedback on it or not, let me get it out, and then I'll think about it. And he's like, okay. And that meant that he had to pay attention, or if I did want him to give me feedback, he had to pay attention. And I thought, you know, I don't have, since he passed, I haven't had anybody where I can walk in the room and sit down and go, I've had an idea. And that's one thing that I, that's one of the many things that I miss about not having Brad around to do that with. And I suddenly thought, I have an entire mastermind group, amazing mentors in the group. Why am I not using them to plop myself down and go, I've had an idea. But I think it's because some of the times it's just me for me to just sit down immediately and go, I've had an idea and just go blah, 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 instead of sitting there and having to type it out. I think that's what the problem is. But I'm definitely going to start making more use of my, um, of my mentor because um, he hasn't steered me wrong yet. Um, but we had a really, really good conversation on things to work on. And um, he get, he helped me to look at things from different perspectives, which is really cool, which gives me more stuff I have to think about now. And this is on the eve of, we've got our mastermind group tomorrow. <laughs> and I'm just sort of like, okay, I'm having to like think of all these things from different perspectives and start figuring out how I can work these different perspectives into everything. And I have a mastermind group tomorrow, which is going to, fill up the brain even more and probably blow the mind that they usually do um, which is going to shake up my Saturday which is tomorrow's theme <laughs> so I'm just sort of like I'm like 
in the middle of this all and it's going to be very uncomfortable which is fine because i know long i have no idea where my comfort zone is anyway i'm always trying to step out and do things um so it's going to be awesome with what i've got on my plate from today from that um and it was good because i had a couple of hours after our call before i had to get on the chat so i had some time to decompress and think about things and just sit and be in the moment and enjoy um the newfound perspectives of things which is really cool so if you don't have a business if you're in business for yourself and you don't have mentor and coaches get some um you need them if you may not think you do but you do um i just don't utilize mine enough and uh it was a real big eye opener i have to tell you that a real big eye opener but you know and then i got on the help chat this afternoon and it was quiet it was a nice quiet day and i'm like oh this is kind of like how it was pre-launch friday afternoons it's really quiet then we'd have a little bit of busy bit then we'll go back to quiet again i thought this is like friday afternoons before we did the launch so i'm sort of like it's kind of nice because my brain was still trying to process all that stuff from this morning. It's still trying to process that stuff. So now when we go for a walk, um, the brain will be able to process it a little more. And I'm probably going to end up listening to um, Compound Effect because I have that on audio. And I also have sitting here next to me the book, Compound Effect, which is a really, really cool book. Um, so I'd listen to it sometimes and then I'll come back and read the same thing that I've just written, although I actually think I'm ahead in the book. And so the audio will remind me what I've read. So I'm either listening to the book listening to the audio and then coming back and reading what i just listened to or i read ahead and when i put the audio on i'm getting a i'm getting the um i'm catching up with what the book been reminded of what i read so i'm either being reminded of what i read or being reminded of what i listened to either way it works really good so anyway we're out of here for the day um go have a, oh um and if you if that's the other thing if you have we on um tuesday nights we're doing family tree answers I may even break that out into its own series. I may do that. But I need questions to do that. To be able to do that, I need you to send me your questions on family tree research. So if you're having a problem with family tree research, if you come up with, a, with an obstacle, you come across a term you don't understand, send me a private message so that we can have some um, questions to put into the family tree answers and we can get stuck putting those out um, at the moment we're doing Tuesday evenings for that um, so we will um, keep doing that on Tuesday evenings but I may be breaking that out into its own series stay tuned on that one because there is a lot of different things on genealogy that um, that we can talk about and but I want to answer your questions first instead of picking topics that I think you might want to hear um, so I'd rather hear from you first so please private message me your family tree questions um, or comments um you can private message me put them in the comments below and then we can use them on our family tree answers and if i start getting lots of questions coming in then we'll be able to break away and have our own series and i'm also connecting with other genealogists who have different specialities to what i do um, i'm just general right now but i have some who are niche genealogists who deal in certain areas so i may even try and get them to come on a family tree answers one night um, yeah, so I'm looking at, at uh, there's a whole bunch of stuff I'm looking at doing, um, which just came up in ideas this afternoon that I wrote down here in my book. Um, so um, I just had another idea. Okay, now I don't have to forget that idea. <laughs> but anyway, go out, have a super fantastic, sparkling, fun Friday evening. We're just going to go for our walk, come back, crash watch a movie um and make it a nice easy night knowing that tomorrow with the past mind group it's going to be it's going to be all systems go for that um so anyway have a super fantastic sparkling evening and we'll catch you guys back here bright and early tomorrow morning for shake it up saturday here comes the pup she knows the ending she's like okay you said those words now we can go we're off hey konera